Ah, oh, good soup. Day six. You ever seen a bag of shrooms, dude? No. It's a bag of shrooms. <laughs> Okay, I think the comment said to use three different kinds of mushrooms. So that's what we're gonna do today. I've got oyster, maitake, and then just some creminis. These are my all-time favorite shrooms right here. So I'm gonna set one of these aside for garnish. Keep that nice and pretty. All the rest of this stuff, I'm just gonna chop it up. All right, if you're right-handed like me, I gotta work left to right. That's like just how the flow works for me. All right, dude, what knife should I use today? Mm. Yeah, this is the winner today. Oyster. I'm just doing large chunks as well. It doesn't really matter how you cut them as long as they're all kind of like the same size and they cook at equal temps. And some cremini. So you know you could actually take the skin off of these. Just like that. You could use the peelings too for stock. That's all good. I haven't tornado mushroom in a long time. So it's kind of hard to do. <laughs> you could also uh, do what's called like a, a fluted shroom. Mine look really bad. Don't judge me. It's been a long time since I've done this. Oh, maybe I could set this aside for a garnish. I'm just gonna set these aside for now and I need to cut up my shallots and other stuff that I'm gonna start first. Also, check this out, man. Bench scrapers, can't tell you enough times. This is my favorite kitchen tool right here. Shallots, beautiful looking shallot. You know what's really handy about a chef's knife like this right here with the, the backing like that? Check it out. So same thing, a couple swipes on your shallot. You cut the shallot kind of like the same way I show you how to cut an onion, except what we can do here is just take the back of the knife and then just roll it just like that. Same thing with the leftover. Okay, now we finally get to cook. Hold on, I look like a fucking slob. Get yourself a pot and just a touch of butter. Shallots in. We're just gonna sweat these off in the butter. We don't really wanna get too much color on these guys. A little uh, sprig of thyme, you could toss that in there, mix that in. And then the shrooms go in. Season that. And now what you'll notice with mushrooms, whenever cooking mushrooms, honestly, you'll notice the pan starts to look dry. Don't freak out about that. What mushrooms do is they soak up fat, they soak up liquid. So it's gonna look dry there for a moment, but if you keep cooking them, those mushrooms will release that liquid and it won't look dry anymore. So just keep cooking them through. Don't really start like crazy, get some color on that. All right, now I'm just gonna add a touch of bourbon in there. You can use white wine, you can use sherry, vinegar, whatever. I want bourbon. Watch out. I almost lost my eyebrows. Comment down below if we should do a bigger fire and make Michael lose his eyebrows. Soy sauce, optional. You can use that, adds a little more umami to it. Look at that color, dude, looking good. Okay, now if you saw the video uh, a few days ago on how to make your own chicken jello, I'm gonna put some chicken jello in here. If you wanna keep this super mushroomy, I would recommend just doing like a mushroom stock. I have videos on that. Let me know if you wanna see that. I'm just gonna add some chicken stock, chicken fat. I think it'll make it more flavorful with the chicken stock and that chicken fat. Just enough. Now we're just gonna bring this up, let it all sort of marry together. But look at that, that looks gorgeous. See that layer of fat film going, shiny layer, so nice. Honestly, even just like this, I would just eat it like that. It looks good. All right, here we go. Once that comes up to a boil, we're just gonna throw this guy in the blender with the liquid, the thyme, everything. Everything's going in here. As you can tell, this is already a very, very easy good soup. Is it a bad soup? I don't know, we'll find out. We're uh, doing this together. Don't ever do what I'm doing, by the way, right now. I'm just doing this for view's sake, like, so you guys can see it better. But don't ever, like, pour towards yourself, because that's kind of dangerous. Like, you could splash boiling liquid all over your... Don't do that. Don't do that. That's stupid. So, we got that ready. Also, another thing. Don't put your pitcher on your blender before plugging it in, because you never know. It might be switched on. Uh, I think these KitchenAids, though, have, like, some sort of safety, so... But it's just out of habit. You never know. I'm just gonna give these guys a little blend. But yeah, like as you can see, this KitchenAid guy has a little safety button, so I have to push that before I even turn it on, so that's cool. So over here, I also have some maitakis. I'm searing these off for garnish. Just gonna toss these guys in the oven. But over here, you can see we're done blending. That's what I like about mushrooms whenever you blend them. It looks kind of like nice and fluffy, almost. Almost smells like pizza, too. I love that smell. 
Well, shit. I don't even have to adjust the taste, but I would say right here, adjust your taste, like season it and all that stuff to taste, but this is fucking great. Okay, so now I could just set this aside and check it out. So this quart right here, I could just save this quart in the fridge. It should last like a week or so, but whenever cooling anything, make sure that it's like four inches at tops, you know, four inches, no more, because you want to make sure it cools down properly. Food safety, people, it's a big thing. Okay. Now, for this pickup, what I would do, turn on first. What I would do in a, a situation where I'm selling this, I'd probably like put some in a pan to order, like maybe this much, right? Then I would toss in some cream. Obviously, you don't have to do this, this is optional. And then pick it up, a little brightness with a touch of citric acid. Easy pickup right there. There's our creamy mushroom bisque, ready to go. Which one? I don't know what to choose, there's so many choices. Should I choose the cat? This cool looking leafy one? This deep bowl? The fish? Hmm, maybe we'll do one fish bowl and one cat bowl. How's that? While the mushrooms are doing their thing, let's see, I'll just cut some chives. This could be a good garnish. If you don't have chives, you could do some scallions, or if you just don't want that onion to taste, you don't have to do it, whatever. This is your soup. Make it good how you'd like it. I also have a video on like, if you wanna learn a good way of practicing cutting your chives, check that out. Also, don't forget to like the video. Now, uh, you might be thinking, did you cut yourself or something? Nope, this is uh, simply just a style choice today. Check it out. There is no cut on me. It's just a style choice. Some people are like, bring the band-aids back. That's how I like my maitake shrooms. Nice and crispy, look at that. Most people don't know this, but you can take a shroom like this, a cremini or a button, and you can just shave them raw and eat them raw. It's actually a really nice garnish. There she is. Good soup. Mushroom bisque. What do you guys think? This one or this one? Here you go, Michael. Thank you. Oh man, that's so comforting. Mm. Okay, here, try that out. That's really good. I'm super stoked on this one. Yeah? It's really good. Yeah, good soup. Mm. So tasty. Uh, well, there you go. Mushroom, soup, good soup. Let me know what you, you want to see next in tomorrow's day seven, I think. Or day eight. Let me know. Smash like, subscribe.